Can Christians get tattoos? Let's discuss. A lot of times I get asked the question of whether or not someone can get a tattoo, if they're a Christian, if they're a Catholic, if they're going to church, is that a sin? Uh, they might have a friend that's getting a tattoo and they have a question about that. And I think the first thing that we needed to consider when we talk about anything that we do to our bodies is the dignity of the body, that the, the matter of the body is not merely material, that this actually means something, this points us towards God, that God created you body and soul. And so our bodies, in the words of the Bible, are a temple. They're a temple of God's spirit. So God lives within us. So what we do to our bodies does, does matter profoundly. Um, and so when we're talking about tattoos, this isn't something that's either uh, inherently sinful or inherently good, but it's something that we always need to view in light of the fact that our bodies matter profoundly to God. We as Christians believe in the resurrection, the glorification of these bodies. So should you get a tattoo? I think a couple questions that you should ask. First and foremost, does this tattoo detract from your dignity? Does, is it, does it give a message that tears down your dignity or somebody else's? Is it something that's profane? Is it something that's blasphemous? Obviously, those are things that we should avoid writing or drawing or talking about or writing online and definitely inking on our bodies. Second, it has to be in good taste. We live in a, in a specific time and culture and society, so it would be a good question to ask family members older and younger that you trust, to ask uh, friends and colleagues and coworkers, maybe your boss, people whose opinion does impact your life to say like, would this be a good idea? Because as we know, uh, you know, a tattoo that's, that's done on the arms or is done on the face, uh, that it's something that people can see and is not going away. Uh, so, so those sort of questions I think are really important and something that we need to ask ourselves. A group of Christians that has faced profound persecution um, for the past 700 years plus is the Coptics, who are mostly in Egypt, the Coptic Christians. And one of the things that they do as a normal practice is they get a tattoo of the cross right on their wrist. And what the reason that they do that is first and foremost as a reminder to them that Jesus took nails right in his wrist, right in his hands, in his crucifixion. So what Jesus has suffered for us. What it also is is kind of an ID that they can show to themselves and to others that they are a Christian, a follower of Jesus. So in a place that's fraught with many attacks on Christians, that that is a bold statement that they make to say that I belong to Jesus. So when we're thinking about tattoos, we're thinking about the ways that we're adorning the temple that God has given us, maybe we should ask that question, does this give glory to Jesus? Does this help raise my mind and my heart up towards the God who made me? Because the reality is, is that everything we do with our bodies matters profoundly because you and I were made for glory.